The United Way of Crow Wing in Southern Cass County has held its annual Small Business Blitz today in hopes of raising a few dollars. Clayton Castle rode along this morning and has that story. From the same group that brought you last week's poverty simulation, the United Way of Crow Wing in Southern Cass County has hit the streets today to visit and chat with local small businesses and hopefully raise a few dollars. The intent is to really reach out to small businesses throughout our area to help them get involved. I tagged along with Executive Director Jennifer Smith as we went from small business to small business in the Brainerd Lakes area. All of them were more than happy to give back to the community. Our whole business is based on uh, local people and uh, we like the opportunity to do what we can to help others and always have. And, uh, we want to thank everybody that's been a good customer of ours. Stonehouse coffee owner Mike French says it's his company's duty to give back to the community that has given so much to his business. We love supporting um, people in need. Uh, uh, Stonehouse does a lot of that. Uh, United Way is just a special thing for us that we can show that we care and we'll give back to the community. From a coffee house to a realtor's office and from a dry cleaner to a vintage boutique store, Jennifer says that these businesses are important to not only the United Way, but they're also vital to the fabric of the local economy. When we look at even statistics for our region, our counties, we have an enormous amount of small businesses. If you talk to the Chamber of Commerces in our area, they'll back that same thing up. It really is the backbone of our community. The United Way of Crow Wing in Southern Cass County is hoping to eclipse last year's total of $4,000 raised in the small business blitz. Reporting in Brainerd, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. The total amount raised from this year's small business blitz will be announced a week from today. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.